And that's the key about being in a conflict, um, is resolve it early. The quicker we can resolve any kind of problem, um, whether it's between two people or a process, uh, the better off we are mm -hmm. because it's only going to grow in size and scope and, uh, and then it's going to go underground. And as long as it's above ground where we can see it, it's fine. But I assure you that if you don't um, address it early and often, it will go underground and it will do more damage. That person has to go after the meeting. Did you hear what that person said? They cut me off, they did this, they did that, and now we've got time there spent. And if it's talked about after the meeting, we can't fix it. If it's here, we can fix it. If it's you know, out there, that's something we can fix. Mm -hmm. But if we're doing it behind closed doors, we can't fix it. We're just sniveling about it. Mm -hmm. And managers shouldn't be sniveling. They should be fixing problems. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, so um, Mario Andretti drove a race many years ago, and uh, the announcer, or one of the uh, interviewers after the race said, you know, God, tell us about that perfect race that you drove. This is Formula One where everything is extremely precise. And... Um, you know, that perfect race, you didn't make any mistakes. And he goes, of course, I made just as many mistakes as all the other drivers. I just caught them quicker. And so in an organization, the organizations that are very successful have the same problems that all of you have. They just get them quicker, more efficient. Um, and they care, and when they care, they address things early and often instead of, ah, oh, that's going to hurt that person's feelings. How am I going to do that? Well, that's a, that's a skill that's learned. And again, <coughs> we, you know, I adhere to these four, and all CEOs have some of these, but we train people, and then we coach people, and hopefully that's where it stops. And if that doesn't work, then we counsel people, meaning that uh, we might say, what's going on? You know, Andy, you notice that you're off lately, um, going through something situational. Uh, blah, 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 and we help them. And hopefully it goes back to the coaching and the training. If not, then we terminate. So we train, we coach, we counsel, we terminate. Either a person is value-added or maybe it's just not a good fit. And you've you know, taken them past their ability or skill or they don't fit the, uh, the culture. And so it's best for them to be successful somewhere else. And that's, not, that's really a healthy thing. Because if we're unhappy with them, they're probably unhappy with the organization. So that's where we have to be very honest with ourselves and with them and say, you know, you're a great person, but you're not, you're not fitting what we need. Or you fit what we needed five years ago, but, you know, we're moving 